with this one. A few nice words in times like these, they sure can go a long way. Now there's a new study that suggests that the best words are to use when you're offering up support. And so this was interesting, and I think anybody uh, who has been in a discussion, maybe a heated discussion, a heated argument, is you don't like telling someone telling you what to do, telling you how to feel, telling you what you should be thinking and not validating your feelings. And so what these researchers found is that one of the most important things you can, you can do when you're offering somebody words of support is to validate what they're saying and allow them to understand and allow them to come to conclusions on how they can change what they're doing. Riley, how do you feel about this? <laughs> Uh, good, nice question there. <laughs> uh, you know what? I, it's interesting reading this article and the research about that because I do think, especially you know, when you're a, in a heated conversation with somebody, for example, a spouse or a roommate or something like that, it's very easy to go to the defensive mechanism and say, "Well, quit being depressed about this. Get over it. You'll be fine." That sort of thing. But I think this takes a, a different way of of using language to comfort somebody and saying, like, "Well, it, instead of like, we'll get over it quickly." it's more like, well, how are you feeling about this? Tell me how you're feeling so we can come to a solution and I can help you out with the problem more of a, in a comforting way. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah, it's a tricky balance, I think, because, I mean, I definitely had to learn this, Riley, because when my wife and I started dating, I was, a, a, I think, a typical man in these sorts of things where you want to you wanna fix the problem. And so you want to just logically say, like, well, you know, I mean, right. it's not that bad. or like, uh, And uh, that didn't go well. That approach didn't go well at all. But uh, being able to honor someone's emotions and feelings about something mm -hmm. without necessarily agreeing with them is also important, I think. Like doing that balance mm -hmm. of, like uh, one example that they talked about in this uh, article was saying like, hey, you, you tell someone like, I understand uh, what you're saying. I understand why someone doing this to you would make you upset. So you're not saying like you're right or you're wrong. You're just validating the feeling. And, and that seems to be, according to the research, what people want. Right, and you're putting them, yourself in their shoes a little bit. I've always found that just offering some sort of mm -hmm. empathy or some sort of care yeah. or concern when you're talking to somebody, that makes a big difference, even your tone of voice and how you do that. I remember some of the best advice I ever got from somebody. I told them I had to deliver some news that, that wasn't going to be great, that somebody didn't want to hear. And her response was, well, you know what? tell it to them nicely. And I thought, whoa, okay. And I, I've, I've since tried to do that with everything that I can do because if you mm. show them that you are concerned about what they're going through and what they're feeling, it can make a huge difference. Mm -hmm. All right, good stuff. Right, and I think also with the virus going around, you know, and, if, and people are heightened and more emotional about that, for I think sure. it's a good tactic to right. do, for Absolutely. sure, you know? It's just, sure, it's yeah. a different way of approaching it. Well,